Hey, everyone, welcome back to Knowledge Journey. Today, we're diving into a topic that is close to my heart, how to improve your life. Life is an incredible journey, filled with ups and downs, twists and turns. But no matter where you are on your path, there is always room for growth, for positive change, and for becoming the best version of yourself. So, grab a cup of tea, get comfy, and let us embark on this journey together. By the end of this video, I hope you'll feel inspired and empowered to take meaningful steps towards improving your life. Let us dive in. 1. Focus on goals and dreams. Alright, folks, let us kick things off with the first key to improving your life, focusing on goals and dreams. Now, I know it might sound cliche, but trust me, there is immense power in having a clear vision of what you want to achieve. Think about it like this, if you don't know where you're going, how will you know when you've arrived, right setting goals gives us direction, purpose, and something to strive for. So, take some time to reflect on what you truly want out of life. It could be landing your dream job, starting your own business, traveling the world, or simply finding inner peace and happiness. Whatever it is, write it down, visualize it, and make a plan to get there. Break your big goals into smaller, actionable steps, and celebrate each milestone along the way. Remember, the journey to achieving your dreams one T always be easy. There will be challenges, setbacks, and moments of doubt. But stay focused, stay resilient, and keep pushing forward. Because when you're working towards something that truly matters to you, every obstacle becomes a stepping stone towards success. So, let us make a pact right here, right now, let us commit to setting meaningful goals, chasing our dreams with passion and determination, and creating the life we've always imagined. Together, we've got this. 2. Time and Task Management Now, on to the second crucial aspect of improving your life, time and task management. Picture this, you've got a million things on your plate, deadlines looming, and not enough hours in the day. Sound familiar trust me, we've all been there. But here is the thing, how we manage our time can make all the difference between feeling overwhelmed and feeling in control. So, let us start by taking a good look at how we're spending our time. Are we being productive, or are we getting bogged down by distractions? One of the most effective strategies for mastering time management is prioritization. Identify your most important tasks and tackle them first. Break larger tasks into smaller, more manageable chunks, and set realistic deadlines for yourself. But it's not just about working harder, it's also about working smarter. Embrace tools and techniques that help streamline your workflow, whether it's using productivity apps, setting timers, or practicing the Pomodoro technique. And don't forget to schedule in breaks and downtime to recharge your batteries. Now, I know changing old habits can be tough, but trust me, investing time in mastering time management will pay off tenfold in the long run. So, let us make a commitment together, let us prioritize our tasks, manage our time like the bosses we are and reclaim control of our days. 3. Mental and Physical Health Care Alright, folks, now let us talk about something near and dear to my heart, taking care of your mental and physical health. In the hustle and bustle of everyday life, it's easy to put our well-being on the back burner, but let me tell you, neglecting our health is not a sustainable option. First up, let us focus on mental health. Just like we exercise our bodies to stay fit, we need to exercise our minds to stay sharp and resilient. This means practicing self-care rituals that nourish our soul, whether it's meditation, journaling, or simply taking a quiet moment to breathe. Next, let us not forget about our physical health. Our bodies are our temples, and we need to treat them with the love and respect they deserve. That means fueling ourselves with nutritious foods, staying hydrated, and getting regular exercise. And hey, I'm not saying you need to run a marathon or become a gym rat overnight. Find activities that bring you joy, whether it's dancing, hiking, or even just going for a leisurely stroll in the park. But perhaps most importantly, let us remember to reach out for help when we need it. There is absolutely no shame in seeking support from friends, family, or professionals if you're struggling. 
In fact, it takes real courage to ask for help, and it's a sign of strength, not weakness. So, let us make a pact together, let us prioritize our mental and physical health, nourishing our bodies and minds so we can show up as the best versions of ourselves every single day. 4. Building Deep Relationships Alright, let us talk about the power of building deep and meaningful relationships. Human beings are inherently social creatures, and our connections with others play a significant role in our overall well-being and happiness. Think about it, some of our fondest memories and greatest joys stem from the relationships we cultivate with friends, family, and loved ones. But here's the thing, quality trumps quantity when it comes to relationships. It's not about having a million friends, it's about having a few true blue ones who have your back through thick and thin. So, let us prioritize nurturing those connections and investing time and effort into fostering meaningful relationships. Communication is key in any relationship, so let us make an effort to truly listen to others, express our thoughts and feelings openly, and show empathy and understanding. And let us not forget to show gratitude for the people in our lives who lift us up, support us, and bring joy into our days. But building deep relationships ISNT just about what we get, it's also about what we give. Let us make an effort to be there for our friends and loved ones, offering a listening ear, a shoulder to lean on, and a hand to hold during life's ups and downs. So, let us make a pact together, let us prioritize quality over quantity in our relationships, nurturing meaningful connections that bring joy, love, and support into our lives. 5. Learning and Self-Development Picture this, life is like a never-ending adventure, and each day presents us with an opportunity to learn something new, to grow, and to become the best version of ourselves. Whether it's mastering a new skill, diving into a fascinating subject, or simply gaining a fresh perspective on the world around us, the journey of self-discovery is both enriching and empowering. So, let us embrace the mindset of a lifelong learner. Let us seek out knowledge in all its forms, whether it's through books, podcasts, online courses, or even just striking up conversations with interesting people. The world is our classroom, and every experience is a lesson waiting to be learned. But here's the thing, self-development ISNT just about acquiring knowledge, it's also about putting that knowledge into action. So, let us challenge ourselves to step out of our comfort zones, to take risks, and to embrace new opportunities for growth and exploration. And hey, let us not forget to celebrate our successes along the way. Whether it's mastering a difficult skill, overcoming a challenge, or simply learning something new, let us take a moment to pat ourselves on the back and acknowledge how far we've come. So, let us make a pact together, let us commit to the journey of self-discovery, to seeking out knowledge, and to embracing opportunities for growth and learning. 6. Stress Management and Work-Life Balance so, let us start by acknowledging that it's okay, to say no sometimes. We don't have to do it all, and setting boundaries is crucial for protecting our time and energy. Let us prioritize our tasks, delegate when possible, and learn to let go of perfectionism. Next, let us talk about the importance of self-care. Just as we prioritize our work and responsibilities, we need to prioritize our well-being. Whether it's through exercise, meditation, hobbies, or spending quality time with loved ones, carving out time for activities that bring us joy and relaxation is essential for managing stress. But perhaps most importantly, let us remember that work is just one aspect of our lives. We're not defined solely by our careers, and it's crucial to cultivate a rich and fulfilling life outside of work. Let us make time for hobbies, interests, and relationships that bring us joy and fulfillment. 7. Creating a happy living environment. So, let us start by decluttering and organizing our physical spaces. A tidy and well-organized environment can help reduce stress, increase focus, and boost productivity. Let us create designated spaces for relaxation, work, and leisure, and surround ourselves with items that bring us joy and inspiration. But it's not just about our physical surroundings, it's also about the people we surround ourselves with. Let us foster relationships with positive and supportive individuals who uplift us, encourage us, and bring out the best in us. 
And let us not be afraid to set boundaries with toxic relationships that drain our energy and diminish our happiness. Additionally, let us consider the impact of our digital environment. In today's digital age, it's easy to get overwhelmed by constant notifications, social media, and digital distractions. Let us take control of our digital habits, limit screen time when necessary, and create boundaries to protect our mental well-being. 8. Positive Thinking and Gratitude So, let us start by practicing positive affirmations and reframing negative thoughts. Instead of dwelling on what is going wrong, let us focus on what is going right and look for the silver linings in every situation. Let us cultivate a mindset of optimism and resilience, knowing that challenges are simply opportunities for growth and learning. Next, let us embrace the practice of gratitude. Each day, let us take a moment to reflect on the things we're grateful for, whether it's the love of our friends and family, the beauty of nature, or the simple pleasures of everyday life. Cultivating an attitude of gratitude not only boosts our mood and happiness, but also helps us appreciate the abundance that surrounds us. But perhaps most importantly, let us remember that positivity is a choice. We may not always be able to control what happens to us, but we can always control how we respond. Let us choose to focus on the good, to find joy in the little things, and to approach life with a sense of wonder and curiosity. 9. Developing Soft Skills So, what exactly are soft skills? These are the interpersonal skills and personal attributes that enable us to effectively interact with others, navigate complex situations, and thrive in diverse environments. They include things like communication, teamwork, problem-solving, adaptability, and emotional intelligence. Now, you might be thinking, but I already have these skills, and that may very well be true. However, soft skills are like muscles, the more we exercise them, the stronger they become. So, let us commit to continuous growth and development in this area. One way to enhance our soft skills is through practice and feedback. Whether it's participating in group projects, taking on leadership roles, or seeking out constructive criticism from mentors and peers, every opportunity is a chance to refine our abilities. Additionally, let us embrace lifelong learning as a means of honing our soft skills. This could involve reading books on communication and leadership, attending workshops or seminars, or even enrolling in online courses specifically designed to strengthen these areas. 10. Seeking meaning and purpose. At the core of our existence lies a fundamental desire to find meaning, to understand our purpose, and to live a life that feels truly fulfilling and purposeful. So, let us start by asking ourselves some deep and introspective questions. What truly matters to us? What are our core values and beliefs? What brings us a sense of joy, fulfillment, and satisfaction? By exploring these questions, we can begin to uncover our unique purpose and path in life. Next, let us consider how we can align our actions and choices with our values and aspirations. This might involve setting meaningful goals, pursuing activities that resonate with our passions, and making decisions that are in line with our authentic selves. But finding meaning and purpose isnt just about what we do, it's also about how we show up in the world. Let us strive to live with intention, to be present in each moment, and to make a positive impact on the lives of others. Whether it's through acts of kindness, volunteering, or simply being a source of support and encouragement, let us use our talents and abilities to make a difference in the world around us. And finally, let us remember that the journey of seeking meaning and purpose is ongoing and ever-evolving. It's not about reaching a final destination but rather about embracing the process of growth, self-discovery, and personal transformation. Thank you so much for tuning in to watch this video and for joining me on this journey of self-discovery and personal growth. I truly appreciate each and every one of you taking the time to explore these important topics with me. Remember, the key to improving our lives lies within each of us, and it's through reflection, action, and continuous learning that we can unlock our full potential and create a life filled with purpose, fulfillment, and happiness. I hope that you found value in the insights and ideas shared in this video and that you feel inspired and empowered to take meaningful steps towards improving your own life. Together, let us continue to support and uplift each other as we navigate this beautiful journey called life.
Once again, thank you for being a part of this community, and I look forward to sharing more content and insights with you in the future. Until next time, take care and keep striving for greatness.